Are we going to deal with this monster who bombs um, mothers and babies? Well, look, Kay, that is... Um, there is a simple answer to that, which is that he needs to stop. I mean, for all of the debate that we have over what the West should or shouldn't do, one man decides to fly his planes over another country and drop bombs. One man decides to launch artillery and missiles indiscriminately at urban areas, including, as we've seen yesterday, uh, hitting a hospital in which women are giving birth. Um, he needs to... This notion that, no. that women and children, uh, you know, who are trying to get out of a... A war zone, a risk to our security. I mean, this, this, it's like a flag that's been raised that just doesn't add Charlie, up, does it? Does it make Ch sense? Charlie, please. I, mean, I, I acknowledged very much who was within uh, the group of people coming. The point I'm simply making is I know that the Home Secretary wants to make this as easy a process as she could. We've been looking at the visa application process, Mr Hibby, and for the benefit, I know that you'll know what it is, but for the benefit of our viewers, um, people need to create an account, they need to upload proof of qualifying family in Britain, they need to upload proof of Ukraine residency before the 1st of January, they need to provide evidence that they're related to family in Britain or explain why they can't, they need to translate the documents into English, they need to book and attend an appointment at a centre in Poland, Hungary, Romania, Moldova or France to take biometrics, they need a TB vaccination certificate waived, but applicants are mistakenly being asked for one anyway. And these are people that are fleeing from war. Surely we need to do something about that. Well, and I think the Home Secretary is very much...